Uh-oh. What just happened? What? Bull. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Okay. Ah. I read horror- I read a horror book once. I, I desperately gasped, uh, gasped something I can relate. Mmm. I desperately grabbed something I can relate to at the minimum level. Man, I can't read today. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some, someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world then I can really can't put it down surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world if only for a brief moment I'm exactly like that I love horror books just like this and fantasy worlds I love that Ugh, I hate horror oh why is that well I just Natsuki's eyes started over to me for a split second Never mind. That's right. Usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? He left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... D -d -d don't say it out loud! And g give that back! Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Haha! Your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just cute as you are. So, Sayuri slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki. Uh, sorry. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. I love writing poems. Why don't you share them sometime? Why don't you share? Ha! Ah! Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki, <laughs> Natsuki adverts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand now. Natsuki feels how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an, exam set an example. I hope Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Uh, ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea for everyone. Hmm? Atsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Mon Monica. Sorry. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll show them with each other. Shoot the. That way, everyone's even. Um. Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think he'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Alex? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. 
There's still one problem. Eh? What is that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forward forth that with what's been on my mind the entire time. I, I never said I'd join this club. Sorry it may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four, all four, girl, <laughs> all four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry. I thought, hmm, Alex, y you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. <laughs> How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? <laughs> That's it. If writing poems is the price I need to pay for in order to spend every day with these beautiful gals. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes! I'm so happy! Fucking Mickey Mouse. Tori wraps her arms around me, jumping in, up and down. Hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. For her, I'm gonna go maybe staccato, try to like sound a little low and pause a little. For her, I'm gonna try to be like kind of, uh, kind of bitchy, like mm -mm, whatever, like ah, what? <laughs> Get my nasal kind of feel for her. I think for her, I'm just gonna speak normally, and that's Mickey Mouse. Ha ha ha. Natsuki. Oh god, I forgot which one's name is it. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be s oh. If you really, if you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be like super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, huh, thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Alex, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mid-core writing skills? I love poem. I, l I love making poems, man. Man, I got you. I got you, man. I got you. Got you, brah. I already feel excited and welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Since we're already here, why don't you walk home together? Why don't we walk home together? That's right. Sorry and I never walked home together anymore. Because she's always stayed after school for the clubs. Sure. Might as well. Yay! With that, two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between four girls. Sorry. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. I can feel really close to her. She has the same thing. She she likes the same thing I do, but I feel more closely with this because when I was a little kid and I grew up reading some books. I didn't read that much books, but the books I do read, it's fantasy and off off world horror. Oh. Will I really be spending every day after school in literature club? Perhaps. I have the chance to grow closer with one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make one I just need to make most of my circumsta circumstance circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem! Pick words you think. Your favorite club members would like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. Well, let's try something, uh... Mystic. Because that's, that's what I'm feeling today. Or something like, uh... Together, nature, ribbon, skipping, de death. Wow. How about adventure? Hmm. Imagination. Pout, pain, suicide. Jesus, what is with all these freaking words? There's pain, suicide, death, disary, destiny. Ooh. Anger, memories, luck, dance, mirage. 
frightening, determination, cute, cage, mirage feels mystic. Ura, bless, forgiving, dream, flower, variance, bunny, comfort, bliss, sensation. Heaven scent? That's a, that's a that's a good word. Fear. Okay, that's that's weird. Charm, childhood, chocolate. Crimson is is darkest red color. Crimson's the color of blood. Fantasy. Meager. Valedy. Doki. <laughs> Way to put the title of your game there. Ah, oh, Doki Doki is is like a Japanese word for like the beating heart, because it makes a doki 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 sound. But it can also mean a. Uh, another meaning to it where the heart stops and it just have a long flat line that could also mean it inter intrudent happiness through its, its orient spinning precious meager scar scars why is there all depressing words here for some reason uh, um bah. meager valley let's try this Ooh. I want to try getting for her as close as possible. Breath, awesome. Stream, firefly, fly cheek. Infallible, captive existence. Perhaps that one. Nightgown, joy, map. Jeez, again with these weird words. Entropy. I think this is, this is like, this is what sets it off. Nimble, uh, entropy, hurt. Nightgown, flee. Uncanny. The uncanny valley. Jesus, I'm starting to get creepy. This is starting to get pretty. Lily Pop, Eternity, Candy, Holiday, Email, Shopping, Poof. Let's try and candy for once. Oh, okay. Uncontrollable, Climax, Ambition, uh, Ambient, Mount Ambient. Okay. Graveyard, Music, Alone, Playground, Alone. What's with that one? Let's try Alone. Okay. Despise, Lazy, Explode, Time, Love, Tendency, Bubble, Kawaii. Kawaii! Wonderful cry. Uh, um, let's try love. Kiss and sing a portrait. Starscape. Well, this one sounds. Yep. Covet. That's another uh, abusive word that's that relates to sadness. Loud landscape. Rose rain cloud. Desire. Let's try landscape. Hair. Lipstick. Misery. Jesus. Silly, sweet, treasure, electricity, blanket, passion, games, hair. Hmm, something that sounds mystic. Let's try passion. No. Uh, tragedy, sunset. That's a big one. The sun, sail, universe, summer, family, defeat, beauty, heartbeat. Doki Doki! That's what it is. Infinite, lust, journey. Ooh. Whirlwind, pleasure. Fame, Virgo. Let's try this. Yep, because she said something about that earlier. Pop-up, peace, strawberry, romance, judgment, headphones, fun, heart. Let's try romance. She she likes like she she is more of a feeling. This is more of a cute and this is more mystic. Horror. Okay. Uh soft, vivid, warm, beauty. She said horror earlier. Yep. Laugh, intellectual, jump, shame, shame, melody, analysis, feather, sing. I love singing. Hi again, Alex. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strong, strange for me, but I at least kept my word. Well, I'm back to the literature club. I'm just gonna skip literature and just say club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Alex. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Ah, come on. He, like, deserves any slack. Sorry told... Sorry told me, like, you didn't even want to join the clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just, like, come here and hang out or whatever. But if you don't do take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in her club. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga's literature. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Simply defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. 
Don't worry, guys. Haha! Huh. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Alex always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Oh, Jesus. You know, I'm tired of doing... <laughs> like cooking, cleaning my room. Haha! <laughs> oh, my. How dependable. Sorry? That's because your room is messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Haha. <laughs> Is, is that so, huh? You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Alex get to become good friends, too. Uh, um. S -s -s Sorry. Hmm? Hmm? As, as usual, Sorry seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. You even brought you something today, you know. W w wait, sorry. Eh, me? Um, n not really. Don't be shy. It's a pipe bomb, huh? It's really nothing. What is it? N n never mind. Oh, she's so shy. She's so, so she shy. She's so, so shy. She's so shy. Ah, sorry, made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, sorry, wrong person. Uh, what do I do? Hi, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. He'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? <laughs> yeah! I'll make it a big deal if you don't want to you don't want it to be. Uh, alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually usually read. And we could, you know, dis discuss it if you want. Th this... How, how, how is this girl accidentally belong being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. <laughs> Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry, Monica are having cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rum rummaging around the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I'll catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looked like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be the first on the first few pages. Ah, C crap! Oh, <laughs> I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks around to glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. S sorry I was just sp spacing out. I mother this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Uh-oh. It's fine. I was just focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just re reading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? <coughs> I wanted to re read some of it. Oh, I'm gonna have to save here. Well, I hope you guys like this. I'm definitely gonna be continuing this, so see you guys next time. Bye!